hello there YouTube. Welcome to a very wet 43 degree uh, Tuesday the 7th of February. Yeah, it's going to be a wet one. And it's supposed to be like this all day long. Just a dumper. But, it looks like it's getting nicer as the week goes on. I'm really excited about that. Mama having to save that Danny every morning here. Abby got a piece anyway. She is one sneaky gal. She goes out and get to be this old being no fool. Dang, Mama, it's wet out here today. It's nasty. All right, let's go tackle it. All right. Ooh, it's hard to believe that on Thursday it's supposed to be sunny and, and near 60 degrees. But, uh, you know what they say, <laughs> it gets worse right before the, the big change. It's like when you convert in the other way, you have the hottest days right before, you know, it starts turning fall season. But it sure is nasty out here. You keep your ways and all your uh, your traveling and weather apps going while you're, while you're on the move. Because you never know when it's going to turn ugly. Gas price is still high, but at least it's not still going up. As the... Uh, weather said it's gonna be a wet one and it's holy wet and moly windy. it yeah that was crazy yeah that's some blowing wind yeah i mean a full-on headwind the whole way it's crazy make this thing jostle around you know it's windy <laughs> <laughs> yeah mama yes I have. we made it to tuesday we did a wet tuesday yeah it's a yucky tuesday yeah. I think it's just gonna be one of them wet days. Mm -hmm. All Turn right. Up and buckle up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. Like All righty. Love you. See you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. I was just thinking, it's <laughs> going back together with this thing, and the amount of layers involved here is just mind numbing, and the number of screws. But uh, so you, <laughs> it's just multiple layers. This is a layer, layer, layer. It just goes in a layer. But I was just sitting here thinking, I thought I'll start the at work vlog here right now. Just thinking, what if I didn't plug in that combi at this point? Man, I would lose my mind. All that has to come off to get to that plug. It's at the back of that. Oh, here's a, if I can get somewhat close to it here. Is it focusing? I might have to put a finger or something up there. But you can see it's just, it's just bubbles in the, in the clear coat. I'm thinking you could probably lift it and come back down, but I'm not trying it. And it looks, I don't know, it's creased. Looks like they tried to get it out. I don't know. I don't like putting those things on. I try to get somebody else that's better at stickers. Um, yeah, I don't like putting those things on at all. Plus, I think those, <laughs> it's so scratch resistant. They're really expensive. What people don't realize is just how scratch resistant that thing is. Just the way it comes out of the box. Have you ever seen a TFT on the GS or anything that's scratched? I ain't never seen one. I've seen them come in all kinds of mangled up and uh, not scratched. So I wouldn't bother spending, I think that little piece of film is close to a hundred bucks or something. Not this kid. Gotta plug in my little. And how you disconnect these things, a little door on there. And as you get older and you need more light and better focus, that that gets tricky finding the little clip that's inside there to undo them. <laughs> but anyway, see his, he's not in for a service, not even close, but his bottles, well, I guess it's halfway. I thought it was lower than that. Yeah, she's halfway between the low and full mark. But I got some BMW pre-mixed coolant we'll top her off. Take advantage of that because <laughs> when they come in for a service every time you look in the little spy window down here let me light up the bottle and you'll see it you look down in that little window 
every time you need to add that to it it's not that big of a deal but the two bolts are at a weird angle and if you're not careful you can cross thread them and it's got that whatever they call it it's like a velcro but they call it something lock half the time it pulls the double-sided tape off and somebody's been in here before and put like dielectric grease on those rubber pieces i didn't realize that because that's not the way they come from bmw man i spent 15 minutes getting all that grease off of everything but anyway, let's uh let's go back together i was just thinking about looking at that going okay i got all that done i gotta put the the bracket and the shield and all that stuff on the speakers and the speaker covers and um you know interestingly they used to have a bolt that goes through here but they don't anymore this holds these two brackets hold the windshield down they're actually designed to break away if you have a front end impact it's designed to break away trust me you want that thing to break away if you hit something oh and you gotta be really careful because the little lower mounts have o-rings on them can you guys see that what do you point in the camera and the upper mounts do not so if you take your windshield off of your uh I think 22 and newer RT, be mindful. The O-rings go on the adjuster arms, the motors behind here. These are just spring-loaded guides. No O-ring, O-ring. <laughs> you wanna know something? You wanna know something funny? Now, the timing of this couldn't have been any more perfect. So I went upstairs and turned the paperwork in there, all my notes you know, saying everything I did and what I did not find. And um, the technician upstairs put a brand new 2023 R1250 RS together. And I was talking to another tech about something else. He drives past me from his test ride. He came down here, hooked it up to the computer and uh, took it back upstairs to, you know, clean it off and do whatever, double check everything before he sends it up front drives by and what do i smell the exact same smell this thing puts off exactly he goes man them grips are something else man they're so warm they're so hot literally the exact same smells this thing's putting off just new bike smell something we noticed yesterday is kind of weird too is is the, like the plastic i don't know if it's supply issue things and they're changing vendors but the plastic has like a different smell, all of it. Like we notice it, definitely notice it around the saddlebags and all around, you know, like your little glove boxy things. And this kind of this that flat black plastic, it puts off this weird, I hate to say it for a BMW, but it puts off this weird Chinese smell that like a cheap toy or whatever would put off. Yeah, identical. Absolutely identical. <laughs> Maybe it's a 2023 BMW thing. I have literally not assembled a single 2023 BMW, all the ones that have come in so far. Everybody, I'm usually busy with a spider or diagnosing one of these things or something other than building them. But uh, yeah, it's normal. Absolutely normal. All right. So I literally haven't even driven any of the RC cars since um sunday the day i gave this thing a good old tumbling crash and burn but if you notice you know the camera does a good job of stabilizing so it kind of keeps the horizon stable but this truck was bouncing like crazy i've known you know some of the other people talking about these things the shocks or springs are too strong and they're too stiff so i am going to change the shock oil to 15 weight this is some of that team associated um oil i used an old bottle of 10 weight on the uh, trx4 sport man that thing i just turned it into a different truck so i'm kind of thinking i might experiment a little bit 
and um, put some tin, tin, you know, take two shocks off at once, leave the tin weight in one, or the 30 weight, or whatever, I think it's 30 weight to come with, and uh, try the tin, see if that makes it too soft, and then I'll make a decision where to stick with the tin or go with the 15. So that's what we're going to do here for a few. Oh, we made it home safely, by the way. <laughs> So I pulled the rear off, or I took the spring off the rear first. There's a a limiter. That keeps the suspension from traveling any further. What would happen if I took that off and allowed the shocks to have their full throw? I think we might have to try that. Yeah, so it'll, it's a, it's like a top out. It's a limiter. Not a top out, but a bottom out. So it's going to bottom on that before it's uh, gone its full throt, uh, travel. Man, those springs are awfully stiff. Yeah, like crazy stiff. Hmm. Let's investigate. And it's not topping out because if, you know how when you put the oil in there, usually the shock comes up towards the towards the top. And you can see it's nowhere near it. You can see the top of the shaft way down in there. Hmm. We may have to do some experimenting here. So I did end up going with the 15 weight oil. And I love the extra travel without the spacers in there. But there's a problem up front. The power bar hits the uh, hits a differential before the shock bottoms out. How can I get a? Here we are. See if I can make this work. I got my hands over microphones and everything else. Let's see. You'll see. Oh, it's gonna go too low. See it hitting the hitting the differential. Well, the spring hasn't bottomed out yet. So every time you bottom this thing out, it's going to whack into the top of the differential right there. So the fronts for sure need the spacer. The rear clears perfectly fine. I'm going to show you the difference here right quick. With and without. That's with the spacer on the right, without the spacer on the left. So you get that much extra room out of the uh, the rear suspension. I think I'll leave the rear alone. So you see no spacer here and you see a spacer there. So when I get to doing the right rear, I'll leave it out. But I will have to leave the spacers in up front. Don't have my sag balance that well because you can see it's dropping more in the front than the rear. But the difference in the oh yeah, that's like that's like a board on that side. This is just nice and nice and pliable. That feels good. As long as that heavy duty spring doesn't make it bounce, but we'll go out and we'll check that kind of stuff out. That's great entertainment tinker with these things. I gotta flip around, do the other side. But I have to take this shock, or at least the bottom of it off, and uh, spin that off. My little pliers that I showed you guys. I had a pair of these that were kind of gold anodized. Still can't find them. I have no idea what happened to them. But uh, yeah, these have done their job already today. Hold the shock body to take the top off. Then I mistakenly didn't put the uh, spring adjuster on. So I used that and popped the, uh, the the little ball. You can see it in the shock there. See the little chrome piece? Eh, you can't see it without the light, I'm sure. But I popped it out of the shock eye. And uh, put my spring adjuster on, which is buried up underneath there. Put that back on and pop the the bushing, the little ball bearing bushing back in there. Cool, man. 
really cool. So, as I was explaining, definitely had to leave the spacers in the front because it it's a panhart bar in, on one side and, and then it actually hits the uh, the differential on the other. But I left it out of the of the rear. Watch how far this thing will go before it lifts a wheel. Oh, gonna show you, huh? Okay, it's just starting to take the weight off the back wheel. <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't able to get exactly the sag I want, but I'm happy with that considering it's those stock heavy as heck springs. But yeah, that's pretty crazy, huh? Keep the camera at the right place. Now watch that back wheel on this side. See, everything's bottoming out. And just now lifting. That's some serious <laughs> tweakability there. And a much, much more responsive oil. It's nowhere near as thick. She'll body roll and stuff at speed, but that's okay. But anyway, that's that's gonna be fun. We need to get out there and we need to do a goodbye and have dinner and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna take it for a drive tonight, but there we are. I'm super happy. I need to drive it first, but initially I'm very happy. Well hello there YouTube. Welcome to Smokes Motorcycle and RC. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Glad I got back in this. What a perfect thing to do in the off-riding season. Yes, works out good. That being said, hopefully this weekend we can get a ride in. I know. Or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's messed up is Thursday. It's supposed to be almost 60 and sunny. Yeah. Son of a sucker. Fracker, fracker. <laughs> Just sit there in the shop and watch the day go by. I know. I think <coughs> I feel a flu bug coming on for Thursday. I feel a fever coming on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> well, anyway, I love how that suspension came out. It it's, feels like it's going to be a lot like the uh, um, TRX4 Sport. Man, just a huge difference putting that 10 weight oil, setting the sag. Yeah, buddy. I can't get the sag I want out of the truck because the springs are too stiff, but that's all right. We'll work around it. Mm -hmm. We'll work with what we got. Yes. But anyway. I'd go out there and piddle that thing now, but it's already 8.30. Yeah. To start building this vlog. Still got to eat. Yeah. <laughs> got things to do. Yep. So on that, I think we're going back. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. See you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>